Judge Manning, on his part, is probably right that the Constitution uh, does require the state to have some sort of testing program in place, but the one we have in place right now is the wrong one. So, uh, taking a cue from the other side, let's repeal the testing program we have in place and replace it with a higher quality test. Now, in specific, we're talking about four of the seven mandatory end-of-course tests in high school. Uh, the legislators would scrap them. Judge Manning says you can't do it. What should happen? Well, there are plenty of tests out there that are of much higher quality than what we have in the state right now. And the key is to look for a norm referenced or nationally norm test that would allow us to compare the performance of students in North Carolina to those of the other states, which we can't do right now under the state testing program. In previous research, you have found that some of these end-of-course tests really seem to be lacking in the types of questions they use. Yeah, and in fact, the uh, civics and economics test, as well as the U.S. history test, which are two of the tests that would be eliminated under the House Bill 48, uh, are problematic. And I think it's widely recognized by most people, except for those at the Department of Public Instruction, that these are flawed tests that do a very poor job of telling us how well our students are performing. Moving forward, you're suggesting that uh, rather than both sides digging in or giving up, that we ought to just amend the bill to have better tests? That's right. It's a repeal and replace strategy where we repeal the tests that are in place right now and replace them with a high-quality test, uh, such as one of the tests that uh, other states use.